Hi, friends. So, today I want to talk about something that's been coming up for me. It's, it's, it's one of these things that's like uh, a little uncomfortable to experience, but also to just talk about. It's, it's something that I think... I, it's actually something that I, I think is one of my barriers and, you know, but of course that's part, that's part of why expressing it and kind of opening to the presence of it, not because I'm trying to like add energy to it, but simply because, you know, we're throwing kind of a membrane of consciousness around it. Um, and basically it amounts to a kind of anger that I feel when I try to connect with where my natural impulses want to go. And it's weird to feel that because like, like why? You know, it's, it's like one of these it's like one of these, uh, it's like a code that needs to be cracked. Because for whatever reason, when I try, when I put my, I try to put my attention on my own core self, my core being, and impulses that arise from that being, it's like on the way there, I encounter this field of anger. And sometimes I don't even get to that field of anger. Sometimes I'll just be, I'll just kind of deflect or distract off from coming all the way home. But I've noticed recently, especially because, you know, if you've seen some of my recent posts, I've been more and more trying to, trying to come back home, trying to sit back into that core presence and man as I start to approach it I feel this anger coming up and it's like it's a little scary sometimes because you know it comes out at it, it and, and who does it come out at well take a guess right the people I live with it takes it comes out towards the people I love most and who are the most deeply cherished members of my life, you know, my sort of co-travelers on this planetary journey. So that's not fun to see. But I had a moment yesterday where I was just kind of sitting with this and I felt it, it was almost like somebody was throwing coal into an oven in my like solar plexus. I just felt this frustration and uh, it was like this surge. And I, and I, you know, I was, it was kind of taking me with it. It was kind of like pulling, I was, I was identified with it. I was being pulled along by it. And, and um, kind of just like tilting into, into really kind of being possessed by it. But then there was a moment where I was like, whoa, wait, I don't have to follow this. <laughs> I, don't, I can decide. It was like my, my choosing faculty stepped in and decided not to pour any more fuel on that fire. And it was kind of a powerful moment because, man, you want to talk about compulsive behavior? Like that is the epitome of compulsive behavior. When like an emotion that you really don't want to experience is running away with you and 
it's like, what on earth? Why? Huh? What are we doing here? But the but but so then once I was able to kind of step off that train and think and and just give myself a moment of of uh, presence, immediately pennies started to drop. First of all, I started having memories of, of, of like my early life, going all the way back to like early school life, stuff that was like, and I can't say for sure that this is like, this is where my complex came from, but I started having impressions, little flashes of memory that certainly, almost certainly were part of conditioning a response in me where self-expression was met either with um, a kind of like oppressive, like restrictive kind of um, suppressive force and or with anger, with where actual, like I, by, by expressing myself, I experienced anger coming from the outside. So that, and, and I, slew of memories showed up around that and I was like oh well at least that makes sense now at least I have something that I can kind of understand what that was but then I also started thinking back even further than my own life just just recognizing that if I look at the various lineages that I have even sort of indirect contact with. Like I barely met my father's parents. I knew my both my grandparents on my mom's side pretty well, but I'd never met their great grandparents on that side and I never met great grandparents on, well, I met one great grandparent on my mom's mom's side, but my dad's side never had, never had contact with any of those folks. But I, but, but you know, you hear stories. I've heard stories about my father's early life my mother's early life. And when I look at my, my complex, my kind of self-expressive impulse being met, either with a kind of truncating, like um, oppressive or repressive force and or with irritation, anger, just being, uh, where the, the, the act of self-expression feels threatening because it might trigger anger. I, all of a sudden, very quickly, what's going on in me makes a ton of sense. And I noticed that, like as soon as I was able to stop being pulled along by it, I also recognized Okay, so what I'm working with right now is a lineage of karma, a long, you know, I've got some of it on my own, I've got some of it is just mine, but some of it, it and even, and, you know, but some of it is coming from a, there's a long timeline to some of this, and it, it, it just happens to have landed with me. I'm the, I'm the lead, I'm the front edge of that long lineage. You know, and now I've got a daughter who's also participating in life with me, whom I'm having an effect on. So the task of managing that karma, managing what's in me around the area of self-expression and the, that moment of decision to step out of the compulsive kind of freight train momentum of that emotion took on a really, a really powerful significance. It was like, I'm doing work that's, it's not just about me and it's a real, there's really something, there's really something, there's real value here. There's real value in applying consciousness to this 
complex within myself. It's, it's, it, yes, it, I'm on the level of like me personally, it's about freeing my own self-expression. It's going from being locked and having a kind of shame, anger barrier between myself and my self-expression. But on another level, it's about doing that for everyone who's come before me and everyone who comes after me. Not just in my own family, but like we resonate with our entire environment and everybody we connect with and everybody we might teach or study with or work with. So I just started to really feel like there were some powerful implications of this work and the level of intensity I was feeling made it made it really clear how palpable the, the, the benefit is if, I'm, if I can be willing to step up and be conscious.
for watching, folks. I appreciate you. There's a great deal of movement that comes out of expression and the conversation that results for me personally. So I appreciate you. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.